Today I want to show you guys how to make an oil cleanser for dry skin. Not too long ago I did a video on how to make an oil cleanser for mature skin. I'll be sure to link that video down below if you guys want to watch it. So let's just get into it. So first off you're going to need a digital scale that way you can weigh all your ingredients. Then grab whatever container you're going to be keeping your oil cleanser in because you can just add all the oils right into the bottle. I'm using this 2 ounce glass bottle. First off, I'm going to be adding in 2.9 grams of castor oil. This is the key oil for an oil cleanser. It's best for oil cleansing because it is a purging oil, which means it helps draw out impurities from your pores such as dirt, stale sebum, bacteria, and pollution. So it's basically like a cleansing oil, but it's pretty drying, so that's why we're only going to be using a little bit in this oil cleanser for dry skin. So next up is rosehip oil, and we're going to be using 5.8 grams of it. So rosehip oil is rich in essential fatty acids and antioxidants. It encourages tissue and cell regeneration in the skin. It can tighten your pores, brighten your skin, and even firm your skin. Next is 23.2 grams of meadow foam seed oil. So meadow foam seed oil is a lot like jojoba oil. It's slightly waxy and it closely resembles the human sebum. It naturally helps your skin to effectively form a barrier to lock in moisture and deliver nutrients deep into your epidermis. So this is a great oil for many different skin types. Next we're using only 0.58 grams of sea buckthorn berry oil because this is a really bright orange oil and it might stain your skin so only use a little bit. But it's extremely nourishing and revitalizing to the skin. It has a high content of vitamin E and C. It nourishes and protects skin that is sensitive and it can even delay sagging skin and smooth out existing fine lines and wrinkles. So for the last oil, we're using 25.52 grams of sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is rich in vitamin E. It's great for those with sensitive skin. Unless you have a nut allergy, then pick a different oil to use at this part. It helps fight against aging, and it can even reduce dark circles. So now that everything is finished, I went ahead and screwed on my pump bottle. And I will be sure to link down below where I purchased this bottle. I purchased them from a bulk supplier, so if I can find some that resemble these on Amazon, I will link those down below as well, along with all the ingredients I used in this video. They'll all be linked down in the description box. So if you guys are not aware on how to use an oil cleanser, then I will link down below my video on how to make oil cleanser for mature skin, where I actually show you guys two different methods on how to use an oil cleanser. So the last thing I did is I took this custom label I made and if you guys don't know how to make homemade labels I will link that video down below as well along with a video on how to make waterproof labels as well so I do hope you guys enjoyed this recipe let me know how you feel about oil cleansers and like I said if you don't know how to use it the video will be linked down below also if you guys didn't know I do sell homemade skincare products over in my Etsy shop I will have my shop linked down in the description box so you guys can go check that out if you guys would like so I hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys next time bye I'm stuck in the motions